afternoon. Please be seated. Members of the faculty, parents, and students, welcome to the 2020 National Honor Society induction ceremony. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have completed the minimum requirements of a 3.325 grade point average and have also completed six advanced level classes if they are juniors or seven advanced level classes if they are seniors and have been selected by the faculty of our school for successfully completing their candidacy and are being inducted as new members for our NHS chapter. For current members and those foreign mem former members who may be among our guests, we hope this will serve to remind you of the standards of excellence you too are charged with maintaining as members of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious student recognition program. Our chapter is proud to have been inducting new members since 1981, and today's ceremony indicates the continuing emphasis on excellence that we represent for our school and community. In addition to the strong academic records which establish the eligibility for membership, our chapter members are leaders in many student organizations, and we serve our school and community through many activities, including the blood drives, benefiting the University of Cincinnati Hawksworth Blood Center, and the PTO Halloween Carnival Haunted House. We are proud of this record of accomplishment and welcome these new members who bring new energy in support of our continuing work as NHS members. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the John A. Cushing chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of the four qualities that serve as standards for the society. Members of the chapter will now review these qualities for the candidates. We begin with Olivia Cole speaking about scholarship. Please be seated. Members of the faculty, parents, and students, welcome to the 2020 National Honor Society induction ceremony. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have completed the minimum requirements. Reading the wrong one. Sorry. So scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended. For human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life, which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only in one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which the future by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understand the present and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in the scholarship. As William Butler Yeats said, education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. Matthew Johnson will speak about service. My office is service. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work 
where many opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is the, is the quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We're committed to the volunteering of our time and talents to the creation for a better tomorrow. King George VI stated that the highest of distinctions is service to others. Cheyenne Adkins will speak about leadership. Leadership should, be, should exert a wholesome influence on the school and taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities. The real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice. The willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. John Quincy Adams stated that if your actions encourage others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. Lily Beebe will now speak about character. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our, our individuality, our goodness. It is that without which one can respect oneself, nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and once developed grows steadily within. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant thought and action, the daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what is wished to appear to others, to be rather than to seem. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we will value character. Coach Paul Bear Bryant said, show class, have, pr have pride, and display character. If you do that, winning takes care of itself. Taylor Mecklin will now lead all new members and current members in the NHS pledge. I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands and will maintain and encourage the high standards of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Kelby Kaufman will now step forward and assist me in presenting certificates to the new members. Timothy Allender.
Emma Attinger. Emma Balin. Jaden Benoit. Jonathan Brewer, Madison Brockman, Anna Bryan. Alana Clater. William Cornett. Kelby Craig. Olivia Crawford.
Kyle Helton. Robin Hodges. Samantha Isles. Lillian Nichols. Julia Pagan. And now, please welcome our principal, Mr. Rodney Wallace, who will offer congratulatory remarks to the new members. Good afternoon. Thank you all for attending today. Appreciate you being here. Um, I'd like to say that uh, our National Honor Society did a great job with the ceremony today. Really did, uh, did a fantastic job. So I'd like to thank them, congratulate them on that job they've done here. You know, the National Honor Society has got well over a million members in the high schools across this country. It's one of the premier organizations in most high schools in the United States. It was started in 1921, 1921. So, so, um, Next year, we'll be celebrating the 100th anniversary of the National Honor Society. So it's been around for a while. It has lots of members. You know, it's a very worthwhile organization, and um, it's quite an honor and uh, an accomplishment to be a part of that organization. You know, as you've learned today, the National Honor Society is built on the four pillars, character, leadership, scholarship, and service. You know, character... You know, to do the right thing means doing the right thing even when no one is watching. That's tough. Leadership, give up your personal interest for the interest of others. Scholarship is a commitment to learning. And as they said today, lifelong learning. Learning doesn't ever stop. And service, working for the benefit of others. And these are, these are for sure traits that we should all be seeking and developing in ourselves. I challenge every one of you, every one of you, and every one of the students back in the classrooms that are watching virtually 
I challenge every one of you to strive to develop these attributes in yourselves and to be worthy of membership in the National Honor Society. I'd like to recognize Ms. Schaefer, members of National Honor Society for the awesome ceremony. Congratulations to the new members and their parents. Congratulations, National Honor Society, for your membership and your efforts to keep your community a great place to live. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here, Ms. Schaefer. This concludes our induction ceremony for today. Families are welcome to get pictures with their students. And again, just thank you so much for turning out. These kids are amazing kids. And I hope you're all as proud of them as I am. Thank you.